Hi, my name is Aaron and this is my show, Reeducation. And today I want to talk about how politics are not sports, okay? You're not on a team, the left wing isn't a team, the right wing isn't a team, the Democrats aren't a team, the Republicans aren't a team. If they are a team, they are on the same team, and they're team 1%, they're against you. Okay, so the majority of people, all right, don't fall into the category of being the top 1%. They don't fall into the category of being rich, powerful, have any influence whatsoever, social capital, nothing. They are just regular people. In a capitalist structure, the person that has the most money wins the most votes because they're able to do the most advertising. That's how it works. So more often than not, the person who is in power has more money, has more influence, is on the team of 1%. These are the exact problems that occur when you have an unjustified, hierarchical, representative democracy. You don't get the things that you want, and that's bared out in the evidence. The majority of people want to have Medicare for all. The majority of people want to have a living wage. The majority of people want to have these social programs that will actually improve their lives. The majority of people don't want to see businesses moving to fucking Mexico. The majority of people don't want to see that shit. The majority of people want to have an economy, a local economy, not just the rich people's fucking economy, but a local economy that works for them. They don't want to see massive wealth disparity. They don't want to see the rich making hundreds of thousands of times more than they do without doing any extra labor. There is no better way to show that this is a broken system that we have something as fucking ridiculous as a billionaire class. A billionaire class. The idea that a billionaire even exists at all shows that this is a broken system. You should not be able to, there is no way you can justify being able to make, being able to produce the amount of labor necessary to accumulate a billion dollars. The only way that you can get a billion dollars is through exploitation, and that's it. When you're voting for a party and not for policy, then you inevitably get dictatorships that give you things that you don't want. It's the most obvious thing. Holy fucking Christ. <laughs> the majority of people agree on 90% of the policy. And yet the majority of policy that is actually passed has absolutely 0% to do with what the voters actually want. This is why I get so frustrated with people sometimes that claim to be left wing or claim to be right wing or claim to be a specific party, liberal, conservative, Democrat, Republican, Tory, whatever, whatever you want to call it. These are arbitrary bullshit terms that are made simply for another level of division. It's another way to divide people and make them fight amongst each other for the stupidest reasons. The majority of people aren't racist then why is it that you have to vote for one of two parties that have racist tendencies? That doesn't make any sense. You should be able to vote directly on policy, not on a fucking party. You should be able to vote directly on policy, not on people. These arbitrary divisions are put in place to control us. They're put there to make us think that people who would otherwise be our allies are our enemies. And that doesn't help us. It doesn't help the cause. I know firsthand by going out into the public in incredibly conservative areas and talking to the people directly through direct action and asking them how they feel on certain policy. And the majority of the time, people are receptive to left-wing ideas, to bread tube ideas to the ideas that allow workers to have more power, more control, more autonomy over their lives, the ability to vote. These are things that conservatives like just as much as the left wing does, just as much as all workers do. That's what we should be a united workforce, a united people. 
We can have disagreements on policy. That's fine. I don't mind disagreeing on policy all day long. If you think that the death penalty is a good idea and I think that it's not, let's debate that. But let's not do that at the expense of all of our health. Let's not do that at the expense of the things that we really want, the things that could make a real difference, a real change. Do you think that it's right that 25% of the world's prison population exists in the United States? Do you think that it's right that you're the only country in the world, the only first world country that doesn't have socialized medicine? Does it make any logical sense to have somebody work more than one full-time job and still not be able to have enough money to survive? There is absolutely no justifiable reason that you can give me why we continue to allow this system to go on. As I've said in the past, I'm not about problems, I'm about solutions, and I do have a solution to at least one of the problems that we have in the capitalist system, and I think with that, along with several other things, we can actually work to fix this. Link right there. We can continue to fight amongst each other for forever, and we can drive this ship directly into an iceberg, or we can start to work together and actually make a difference. That's the way I look at it. Anyway, this has been Reeducation. My name is Aaron. Thanks for watching.